Okay, guys. It's been a little while since I put a bit out. Really, kind of was in the mood to do something, so I wanted to get this out. Um, thought we could just spend a, a little, few minutes talking a little bit about Spider Co. Okay, everybody's favorite subject. Um, okay, recently oh, I got myself in the military, which is just ridiculous. Unbelievable life. Very, very happy with it. Um, Fred, you'll, Fred Hart, you'll be happy to see that the troil underneath the uh, blade has jumping on it, and it's, it's it serves its purpose very, very well. I know you talked about that in uh, one of your recent videos about uh, the Delica. So um, today in the mail, this arrived. Ta-da! All right. It is, of course, a Delica 4. Full flat grind, baby. All right. I, uh, I've been wanting to get an Endura forever. Okay, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I just, I just didn't want to pay the, the price for it. And so I, I always keep my eye on the Delicas as well. And I always, I do a lot of stuff on eBay, and I always just throw bids up there, throw them up. And uh, the other day, all of a sudden, I looked, and I had ended up winning this one. And uh, I won it for 38 bucks, <laughs> so I am pretty stoked. Shipping was only uh, $4, so I was pretty stoked on it. What I want to talk about, really, is I'm not going to talk about reviews and things like that. I just want to talk a little bit about Spyderco in general here and, and, and just a couple of things. I guess, let's say first and foremost, if you're like myself and you don't have a chance to go anywhere and find uh, these knives to be able to handle them, to try them out before you buy them, then stuff like this can be a little bit, uh, you know, good information for you. So. Firstly, I doubt your first uh, purchase is going to be a military, okay? If it is, congratulations. Um, you're going to like it a lot, okay? It's a beautiful knife, and it just feels uh, <laughs> feels manly. Um, it just it really is a knife. This is a big knife, and it certainly is going to be something I will love and cherish for a while. I've already used it, you can see, and I don't care, it's marking up, that's why I got it. But one thing, you'll probably end up getting one of these, a Delica or an Enduro. Now, if you're used to, you know, Kershaw's and, you know, pretty much any sort of flippers with your, you know, your thumb assist, you're used to that. Pretty simple, pretty fast deployment, you know, that's what, uh, that's what you usually are used to. If you, if you haven't ever used a spider coat, it isn't going to be like that. I mean, again, you, you you have to you have to wrist it a little bit, okay? And uh, you know, it does. It will open quick. The nice thing is, you can do that all day long. Um, but it isn't something that you're really, you know, and you can do the uh, spidey flip. But it isn't something that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to like whip, whip. I mean, there you go. You can do it, but it's not like that. So just be aware of that. Nothing bad with it at all, okay? One thing that held me back from getting uh, a Delica or an Endura for a while, and one of the main reasons actually that I went with this, the, the military was because I really like frame and liner locks. I'm used to them, my muscle memories for that, and I thought that, you know, because I ended up getting this 511 blade that was locked back, you know, it's a pain in the ass doing the lock back. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but kind of hits your finger and stuff and it's just not what you're used to and I thought I was gonna just not like having a backlog but as I saw Fred Hart's video on the Gear Obsession channel and he kind of pointed it out it really is simple to just go like this and start it and then you can close it one-handed you know if it's uh you know you get dangling you can just loosen it and you can one hand close it and that was really the most important thing to me and one of the reasons I held out so I'm now that I have it I'm glad because uh, it is very easy to to close one-handed and 
not having ever seen or held the Delica, it is a lot bigger than I thought. And as a fact, it's, it is very, very good size. You know, I have relatively small hands. Uh, I wear medium you know, mechanics, wear gloves, stuff like that. They're relatively small. This fits pretty much perfect. And really, you know, I'm thinking, you know, before I got it, I'm thinking, oh, how great, great could it actually feel? It really does feel like a great knife in your hand. It just... It does feel good. This multi-directional scaling really works very, very well. Um, the color green, I didn't care what color it was because I could always dirt coat the color whatever I wanted. Here's the, uh, the vapor. This actually compares fairly close um, as far as the actual you know, grips to the vapor. I've been noticing since I've been playing around with this thing. They're uh, pretty darn similar. As far as that goes, you know, of course this is like 10 bucks. <laughs> Doesn't come with that killer blade though. <gasps> you gotta do that yourself. Um, but I was really, you know, thinking, oh, Endura or nothing, you know. But now I'm actually very, very glad that I got the Delica. And in fact, that uh, it absolutely makes me want to grab the Endura even more almost. But these are basically about the same price as Enduras. Um, you know, you can get them on eBay all day long for, you know, just under 50 bucks uh, as far as the Delica goes. And the Endura is pretty much the same. They're literally only a buck or two more. There's definitely a lot less Delicas than Enduras out there for sale. And again, like I said, I don't care about, about the color as much. I actually really like the green. I think it's kind of nice. Um, you know, I, I may dirt, try to dirt coat it, but I don't want to lose any of its feel. It just has a nice feel to it. Now, if you ever had never felt a, a military, now that's a big ass knife, okay? I EDC it all the time just because I love it. But you do slightly feel it a little bit, and for my small hands, you know, it is, it is big. It's a big knife, but I like that. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, when you get it, you're getting this because of the quality of the knife. It's a beautiful, the VG10 steel is excellent, and, you know, you're not going to get it because you want the fastest flipper in the world, okay? And this jimping is pretty good. That's the other thing. The jimping on the, the military, of course, the blade's a ton, not a ton, but considerably thicker um, than the Delica is, but the jimping on the military, just it just feels feels like it's mill spec so to speak sort of, sort of, as opposed to a civilian. This has got good jumping on it and the way it is, uh, you know, it's, it's adequate, it's fine. But this military, it's got it on the, uh, the liner lock too and it just feel, it feels like I'm handling uh, an AR for some reason, like parts on an AR, that type of feel if you know what I mean. Just has that, that rugged um, feel to it. So anyway guys, just wanted to cover that. I figured that, you know, there's a million and one reviews on these things, and uh, also, <laughs> when I got this, I, I understood why everybody puts out a, a Delica or an Endura or even, a, you know, a military review when they get them, even though there's a million out there, because they are, they're just impressive to hold in your hand. And again, this Delica, it just fits. It's, that's really about all I can say, is it just fits. And... Uh, Again, even though people may not remember, don't forget that these colors and this full flat grind, it, it was uh, something that they were temporarily uh, releasing. And I'm not sure not whether Spyderco has officially released, you know, that he's going to be part of their line now and they might go back to the Sabre, um, you know, grind, or are they going to stick with full flat grind on these? So if you like them, don't forget that there's a possibility that they're going to be starting to go away. Alright guys, more good stuff coming up uh, soon.